Hey everyone, this is Jerry Fleming with Sarah Davino. Uh, I'd like to remind you all just to follow, subscribe, and like our photos on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. We appreciate everything uh, you do for us, and I appreciate all the support I'm getting back home. Um, again, thank you so much for everything you're all doing. Um, this is wine number 33 on our tour through Europe. Um, this is from Chateau de Tuileries. Uh, I might be pronouncing that wrong, um, but uh, that's as best as I'm going to get right now. Um, so for this one, um, it's from uh, was it uh, Chateau de Tuileries uh, with the uh, Cotos de Bourg. It's a 2015 um, Bordeaux. It has been uh, pretty delicious. Uh, it's a little hard to see the label right here um, with the lighting I'm getting right here. So here, maybe this will help. All right. Um, this one, uh, I just happened to like uh, buy this for a. Uh, I bought two bottles. One for um, this one girl at a uh, or the hostel I'm currently staying at. She asked me to buy her a bottle because she thought I was a wine expert, and I said I'll definitely do my best. And I did, gave it, yeah, gave it the disclaimer that I am not a wine expert and will definitely try my best to get her a decent bottle. Luckily, it's not for her; it's for someone else. So. I'll hear back from it way later probably about it. But uh, yeah, this is uh, from the Auchan market uh, in Bordeaux. Um, I'm still here uh, tasting wines and everything. Um, so for this one, uh, it's a little bit lighter around the edges. I don't know if you can check that out. Um, it has a little bit of a purple hue to it, I would say. Uh, so with uh, that being said, I'm definitely guessing that there's going to be some sort of pitted fruit in there, probably. Um, that's uh, what I'm getting out of it, and not a lot of sugar, not a lot of sugar at all. So expecting a little bit of acidity in it. Like there's like zero legs. They just it just all is one like complete drink right here. Just a little bit of legs on the ends, not too much though. So it is wonderful uh, to taste. Uh, I want to say it has. like a ripe plum smell, like I said with the pitted fruit. Um, there's a, I think there's a little vanilla in there uh, too, if I'm gonna say. Vanilla or caramel, I always get those mixed up. They're both real sweet sugars. But there's hints of the, both those in the, the smell that I'm getting. And I think I'm smelling a little bit of leather. Um, I know it's a weird thing to smell, but I know you can definitely, when you have a good piece of like, a good leather jacket, you can definitely smell um, like uh, authentic leather. So that's the type of smell I'm getting from this. Uh, so let's give it a old college try and let's see how it is. Oh yeah, that's, that's acidic, very acidic. Um, there's definitely a high acidity, uh, a bite to that one. Um, definitely, I don't know, not, not my favorite one, that's for sure. Um, I've had a lot better ones when I've been in Bordeaux. Um, definitely a supermarket wine. Um, for the price I got it for, totally worth it. Um, I would definitely use it. I mean, you can typically use it for cooking. I think I'm gonna use some of this for my spaghetti sauce tonight. Um, but it definitely has a lot of flavor locked up in there. Um, I didn't get a chance to use my Venturi. Uh, it's getting cleaned right now, so. I'm laying that dry out and I decided to get on with uh, the tasting. I tried to let it air out. I have had it open for about, I don't know, uh, like 20 minutes. That should be the appropriate amount of time, but I'm still getting a very highly, highly acidic taste to it. Uh, should have opened up by now. But uh, other than that, it has a great flavor to it. Like I said, I get, I'm getting like some deeper flavor, like a leather, tobacco, or a coffee smell from it. Let's, that's one of the three I'm getting from it. I think it's leather though, uh, don't quote me on that one, but it, I think it's leather. Like, it's, the, I just personally don't really care for it, but um, honestly, it's a great wine uh, for what you're paying for. I think it was three euros I got at the market for, so it was a great deal, and I would buy it again, uh, just as like a little party wine. Like you're just having a couple friends over and want to enjoy uh, one of these, this might be one towards the uh, end of the night, once you have a few bottles in you, you're like, okay, this is, let's break out uh, the cheaper shit, or maybe you won't break out the more expensive shit. I don't know. Whatever you prefer. 
So yeah, like I said, uh, this one's actually uh, grown on the right banks of uh, the River of Garonne as well. Um, I believe it's a little bit more uh, <laughs> minerally there. Uh, so I'm getting like, maybe the mineral uh, taste is what I'm getting. It's grown in like a, more of a, I think, a limestone uh, type of uh, soil. So it's uh, definitely a little bit different, the acidity uh, I'm getting from it. Um, I really like this one uh, for paired with uh, probably like a chicken. Uh, I definitely can see it going with a um, like a marinated chicken, uh, like a whole marinated chicken or maybe like a chicken uh, stew type of uh, thing. Uh, like a whole chicken just thrown in there and um, I don't know, I, that sounds pretty good to me to go with it. Um, nothing too spicy though to go with it. Uh, nothing too fruity. Uh, I mean something savory uh, but like not super creamy like type thing. I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily pair this with like a, uh, a light cheese. You need something strong with it. Um, probably, oh my gosh, they have a great white cheese here. I just cannot remember the name, but uh, it's uh, Borsan, actually. That's actually a really good cheese. I would definitely put that with it. Um, my friend uh, Paul introduced me to that uh, literally a couple days ago and now I'm obsessed with it. It was delicious. I have to go actually to the store that reminds me today to go get another uh, probably case of that. That thing's going to be like with me for the rest of the trip. But yeah, I'm uh, really liking it. Ooh. There's definitely a higher uh, like alcohol content on this one, that's for sure. Um, I, I'm reading right here, it says 13.5%. Uh, it's about half percent more, which might be the alcoholic taste. I'm mistaken for the acidity. So uh, definitely, definitely made for like almost cooking, like I would say. It's like the alcohol content's great and everything, but I want to be able to savor my wine. And this one is like one of those like you're fighting kind of to drink it somewhat, but it's, each sip it gets a little bit better. So, um, like I said, this this probably be on the bottom of my Bordeaux list, um, unfortunately. But like I said, I've been tasting a lot of wines, um, so this there's bound to be a couple that I'm not gonna like. But uh, I really am looking forward to trying more of the um, Bordeaux wines I have here. I have a couple more today I was gonna try, uh, and I don't think there's anything else I can really say about this wine. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thank you so much for all the support you've given me. Um, as always, please follow me on Ser de Vino, S-E-R-D-E-V-I-N-O. Being of wine is what translate out to. Um, please follow on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And we appreciate all the support that you give us. Um, like I say every time, please give us feedback. We are very open to it. I am like dying to know what you want for want me to taste. I, I want to taste it. I'm literally just trying wines out here. I don't know too much about it. I'm just trying my best to capture what the average man would be able to taste from tasting it. It's like a acquired taste and I'm slowly acquiring it. I really like this job I have made for myself. So thank you so much and as usual, Sante!